strong. Mm. What up, y'all? This is one Mr. Von, Mr. Von Channel Sweatbox. We back, we live, we active here on the channel. And um, I want to take a quick second to talk about our racist in chief, uh, Donald Trump, and racism in general, and the supporters who continue to support him, despite the fact that he's a blatant racist. Um, I am not going to make the broad statement to say all race Trump supporters are racist. I'm not going to do that. However, what I will say is all Trump supporters have the luxury of not caring about racism. Not wanting to deal with racism. Ignoring racism. I don't know if you're going to call that a luxury, but they're ignoring racism. And if you are ignoring it, you are implicit. You're allowing it to happen. You are you are in empowering it to continue by ignoring it. And by denying it. By closing your eyes to the fire that is in your face. You can't. You cannot close your eyes and deny you can't talk your way around it and I am so tired of white people trying to define what people of color tell you is racist you don't get to decide what's racist white people if you decided what was racist nothing would be racist because you guys are usually the ones committing racism sorry that's gonna spark oh I know comment section on fire already but it's true so you don't get to sit there and say oh that's not racist or you don't get to sit there and twist facts around and try to re rearrange words to make something that was blatantly racist not racist it's racist what the president's a racist motherfucker period period he was racist when he was discriminating against black people in the housing in the 70s he was racist when he accused the central park five in the 80s, late 90s, I don't remember when it was, whenever that was. I think it was the late 80s, early 90s. He was racist when he accused the first black president of not being born in this country. He was racist when he said he didn't want black people to handle his money. He wanted Jews. That's racist against two races of people, by the way, Jews and black people. <laughs> he was racist when he said Mexicans were rapists. He was racist when he said the judge couldn't do his job because he was Mexican. Shall I go on? I will. He was racist when he called NFL players sons of bitches for kneeling. He was racist when he said Haitians uh, all had AIDS. He was racist when he said African countries are shitholes. Can I? I mean, come on, bro. Do you need him to say, do you need him to go on television and say nigger? Is that what it's going to take? Even if that happened, there'd still be some of y'all that be like, oh, 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 oh. I'm done. You can't defend it. You can't defend it. And all you Trump supporters who are still standing by this racist piece of shit, what's your excuse? You're on the wrong side of history, bro. What's your excuse? This is no excuse. You can't deny it. You can't ignore it. You are complicit in the racism. There's bad people on both. There was there was good people on both sides. No, there wasn't. It's racist ass shit when you're defending white supremacists. <laughs> He's a racist motherfucker, man. And white people, I'm holding you accountable. Sorry, you're the ones who are held accountable, especially white Trump supporters. But white people in general, if you're not speaking up, against it you're complicit period and if you gotta speak up loud you can't just whisper you have to speak up loud and you have to speak up with your dollars you gotta speak up with how you spend your money you gotta speak up with your votes because that's the only thing these people understand period and if you're not gonna do that you're complicit let's draw a line in the sand do what Eminem did he told his fans if you're supporting Trump I don't want your money I don't want you as a fan that's what it's gotta be because you can't continue to support this racist motherfucker. Period. I'm going to wrap this up before I continue to rant. But that's it. As simple as that. That's it. You cannot continue to support this motherfucker. It's your boy Mr. Vaughn. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe. And if you don't like what I'm saying, then don't like, share, and subscribe. I don't, at that point, like I said, I don't give a fuck. If you don't like what I'm saying, I don't want you as a fan anyway. I'm just like Eminem on that. 
If you don't like what I'm saying, if you disagree with what I'm saying, then fuck you. <laughs> but those it is, like, share, and subscribe, and holla at your boy. Until next time.